I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, today we're reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, and let's focus on verses 1 through 6. And you, son of man, take a sharp sword. Take it as a barber's razor and pass it over your beard and your head, and then take scales to weigh and divide the hair. And you shall burn with fire one-third in the midst of the city when the days of the siege are finished. And then you shall take one-third and strike around it with the sword. And one-third you shall scatter in the wind. I will draw out a sword after them. And you shall also take a small number of them and bind them in the edge of your garment. And then take some of them again and throw them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire. From there a fire will go out and to all the houses of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, this is Jerusalem. I have set her in the midst of the nations and the countries all around her. and She has rebelled against my judgments by doing wickedness more than the nations and against my statutes more than the countries that are all around her. For they have refused my judgments. They have not walked in my statutes. Now those of us who get weary of what God has asked us to do, should remember what He asked the prophets to do in His name. And then we should consider closely the words of Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1, Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. Now to imagine doing Ezekiel's job for even a few days is difficult. But Ezekiel's faithfulness shines in his willingness, his willingness to do the same task every day for over a year. And we might be called upon to perform many tasks that may be regarded as humdrum or, or others that might attract ridicule from an unbelieving world. But God calls us to be faithful. He doesn't even call you to be effective. He just calls you to be faithful, even if that means becoming fools on behalf of the gospel. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 10, Paul told the church in Corinth, We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. According to the world, you're a fool, but according to the Lord, who matters most, you are wise. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. God hates sin. And how had his people sinned? Well, they turned their backs on God and his covenant, a covenant in which the warnings that those who disobeyed the covenant would incur its curses. Well, those who serve other gods are guilty of violating the purpose for which they were created. At the same time of today's chapter, Jerusalem's destruction was only five years away, and it was the direct result of the people's sin. In light of that harsh truth, we can appreciate God's love for us and Jesus' atoning sacrifice on our behalf. Romans 5 verse 8, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So as sure as the destruction of Jerusalem was prophesied and fulfilled with complete accuracy, so too will the prophecies of the day of the Lord and the book of the Revelation come to pass, which leads us to a very bold question. Will you choose to be a rebel or to participate in the remnant? I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we need your monthly support. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. Of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.